Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey. I'm Holly. Back there is Tucker. Yep, that's me. And today we are in Twenty twenty two Ram fifteen hundred TRX, or as Tucker affectionately calls it, the T Rex. And in this video, we will tell you how this modern super truck fares as a family vehicle for our family of three. Stay tuned. Holly, I uh, forced you to drive this truck back from Mineola earlier okay. this week. You needed Good. some alone time to yeah. yourself and uh, to collect your thoughts. And then I gave you the loudest vehicle that we've ever had to drive. Yeah. What are your impressions here in the Ram 1500 TRX? Well, I know you love it. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, for it checks a, all the boxes. I know. For a truck, I like it. Okay. I guess it's real big, though. Yes, it is. And you know, you get a little bit of a step out there too. <laughs> just, just, just a wee little bit. Like two inches of a step. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a lot easier to get in and out of it with the. Well, I'm so sure this like a pull up. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty truck. Yeah. For and, sure, it's comfortable. And it's eight inches wider than your dad's Ram 1500. Mm. So it's big, it's wide, it's taller. Uh, it's got over two inches more ground clearance than your dad's 1500. Um, but why don't we talk exterior styling, work our way in, and then we'll talk okay. about driving. Uh, I know you're not a fan of the blue color. Put me in a box. Are you a fan of the blue color? It's not my favorite. It's not what I would choose. Yeah. But I do have to say, of the vehicles that are this blue color, at least there's enough black mm. breaking it up. But no, this blue is not my favorite <laughs> blue. That doesn't really matter. I mean, you could choose different colors. Um, but the look of the truck is very interesting and it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's screams like a recreational vehicle um screams pull me over and give me a speeding ticket too <laughs> pull me over yes As yes we pass a cop back behind us we did yep yep good thing i was going the speed yep. limit which and this is pretty easy to exceed but we'll get to that in a little bit this does have like you said a lot of black on it it's got lower painted black it's got a lot of black decals on it, like on the hood mm -hmm. and on the bed back there. Uh, big black grill. Mm -hmm. uh, tons of lights around this one because it's over 80 inches wide. So the DOT mandates the orange marker lamps all the way around it. Gives yeah. it a, a, a much bigger presence to it. And those big fender flares in the back had your mom asking if this was a dually. So. Yeah. If that speaks to just how big it is. How big it is, yeah, it's... It's big. I mean, but I always say, if you're gonna get a truck, get a truck. Yeah. And I, this is a truck. I've got a picture <laughs> of my dad, who's just a little bit shorter than I am, talking to Tucker through the window, and all I can see is his head. No. <laughs> so, yeah, it's yeah. big. Uh, what are your thoughts on, uh, since it's outside the vehicle, some of the t-rex elements hidden in this oh well you know i love <laughs> easter eggs and i love fun details like that like it doesn't cost you any more to add something fun like that but it makes a consumer or a fan of your yep. vehicles even more excited so what we're talking about is underneath the hood what's under the hood tucker a t-18 under the hood, we have a T-Rex eating a Raptor. Fun poke at rivals over at Ford with their F-150 Raptor. But uh, yeah, that's fun. And spoiler alert, famously what happens in our At the shirts. end of Jurassic Park, so yes. Moving inside, what are your thoughts in here? So I will say, okay, so I am five foot nothing. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I have told you before, that I used to want a vehicle that was so big that when I got out of it, people were like, that's her car? Mm -hmm. This would be that, this yes. would be this. Yes. However, oh, it okay. does make 
even short people, there are features that make this easy to drive even for short people. Such as? Such as the 360 cameras yep. are very nice. So uh, With a shortcut button. Yes, and that would probably be for anybody because the hood is so big, I'm like mm -hmm. trying to pull up and look over it, but I'm like, oh no, I've got the 360 cameras. So that makes it easy to not run over curbs, easy to park. Mm -hmm. um, there's teeny tiny <laughs> running board. It's not a running board. It's, it's a, a rock slider that doubles as sort slider. of a step. <laughs> Somewhat. Yes. I would say if you are older and have knee problems, it would not be a step. Um, but for me, it's fine right now as a step. Um, and my favorite feature. The two-person memory seat? No. No? Huh? But I do like the two-person okay. memory seat. You know what my favorite yes, feature is. the adjustable pedals. The adjustable pedals. Why First don't more, more cars do that? The first vehicle we've had with adjustable pedals, and it sounds like it's a home run with you. It's a home run because I, you have this massive steering wheel, mm -hmm. right? And I don't feel like I'm up on top of it or on the hood to be able to reach the pedals. I can like get back comfortably, mm -hmm. arm's length distance, because the pedals are come to me. Yep. Surprisingly though, um, of all the features of this car, the um, Steering Telescope wheel. steering wheel is not uh, mechanical. What not would power. You call it? Not power. Not power. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, but it does still tilt and tail telescope. It does still manually. Tilt and telescope. Yep. Um, also, you have the head-up display, mm -hmm. which is very helpful. That I like. So, speaking of said steering wheel, what are your thoughts on that one? Uh, it's nice. Can I take it home with yeah. me? <laughs> I'd say that is probably my favorite. Uh, steering wheel of any that we you, have. Yeah, you have like the soft soft leather sides, mm -hmm. but then you've got like a top suede, suede and a bottom suede. Carbon fiber And then the accents. carbon fiber accents. And then of course, big ram the big head. ram head, which <laughs> if you're going to get a ram, you need a ram head. Yes. <laughs> and then we have a 2014 Jeep Cherokee, so the button placement and all that seems very familiar. Oh yeah, and they're really easy to read at a glance, mm. and it's not like overwhelming too many buttons kind yeah. of deal. Yeah. So we will get back to interior thoughts, but we are about to turn on the historic brick streets of downtown Tyler, Texas, and we will do Tucker's wobbly head test. This is a truck that is meant to do 100 plus miles per hour in the desert. That is what it's designed to do. The wheels will travel 13 inches before losing suspension travel. Like this thing wow. is a desert racing truck. Who's so, racing in the desert? <laughs> plenty of people. There's a whole race called King of the Hammers. But how does that translate into daily life? We have so many of these trucks. I can tell you exactly where one parks every single day of the week uh, at, here downtown. So there are so many of these downtown Tyler, Texas, how does this fare as a daily driver like so many people here in Texas do? What are your thoughts? This is a lot smoother than I thought it was. Well, okay, wait, now we're getting to Tucker, the part. Tucker, what are your thoughts? Um, kind of bumpy. Kind of bumpy. Kind of bumpy, but I was expecting a lot more, especially because I don't know what it is about this car, but when you turn mm -hmm. a corner, it's like, <laughs> that kind of goes in with that high speed racing. It, it's more of a floaty, cushioned, cloud like ride. Okay. Uh, these decommissioned railroad tracks will be the ultimate test. Let's see. It is. <laughs> that is what it, it feels like you're in a ball. Yeah. It's you like kinda... it's bouncy, but it's like. Dun, 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 mm -hmm. dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Which I did an on road and off road review of this truck, and I talk about. Uh, it is. It does sit up a, a lot higher, but it also sits a lot wider. They've done a lot to make this both a performance on-road and a performance off-road vehicle. But yes, the ultimate intent is to drive over 100 miles an hour in the desert <laughs> in this thing. So uh, we'll get back to driving impressions after we wrap up interior impressions. You like the steering wheel, the adjustable pedals, memory seat. What about materials? Ooh, oh. hey, okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 
<laughs> what about material choices in here? Because we have the luxurious leather wrapped everything. Mm -hmm. Leather wrapped dash, there's even well, suede. There's just so many different <laughs> textures here, mm -hmm. which is good. I mean, it's in a classy way. It's not like a trashy way. <laughs> yep. Classy, not trashy. Um, every time I'm like stopped, I'm like, we even have a metal rubbing it TRX plaque right here with the VIN number and the horsepower. Nice. Yeah. Yes, you've got like squishy suede mm -hmm. right here, regular suede right yep. here. The carbon, carbon fiber. Carbon. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, it definitely, you sit in this car, you know that it is um, a luxury car. So, yeah great material choices in here uh, and it is very comfortable ram really has set the bar with the interiors of pickup trucks uh mm -hmm. for reference we both have ventilated seats going right now <laughs> so nice the outboard rear seats have heat and ventilation the back seats recline mm -hmm. the back center seat folds down into a full center console mm -hmm. which I guess would, now would be a good time to talk about how easy it is to get Tucker's child seat back there in the back. All right, gearheads, installing a child safety seat in the back of the Ram 1500 TRX. First thing I want to call to note, this is a 60-40 split bench bottom seat with a fold-out floor cargo divider for under seat storage here. But the 60% is here on the passenger side where we typically store our stow Tucker's child seat. So this extra 20% right here is unused uh, and really just doesn't quite work out for us. The uh, Chevy Silverado that we recently tested was 60-40 the other way where this was the 40% used. Small preferences but that is the only real complaint of the, this back seat. Otherwise we'll also call out it does recline so you can get very comfortable back here and both outboard seats are heated and ventilated in our model so that's very nice as well the lower attachment points for the child seat are very easy to see and get to and interestingly enough there is one center attachment point here on the center seat but according to the owner's manual, they don't really recommend using the center seat. So if that is something that you're looking into, be sure and check out the owner's manual before purchasing, uh, just to make sure that this will work for you because this center seat does fold down and it does have a full center console on the back of it. Just something to note there, but we will bring in Tucker's child seat. This is a Graco Extend-A-Fit uh, child seat. And as usual, I will feed the top tether into its location first. There are nylon straps behind the headrest that you actually have to feed this through first. I'm actually gonna set that to the side now that I've got it through that strap. Um, and get the lower latches snug and in place. Very easy to get to. I will say, because this is the TRX, this thing sits up very high. Like, my knees are hitting the running board rock slider, and I am needing to use that to climb in uh, to get in around this. If this were a normal Ram 1500, which has the same seats, would not be as big an issue climbing up and around but with it being where it is I can tighten the seat down pretty easily right here in front of me at 510 so that's good and snug now we'll come through here and we've got the top tether and a nylon strap here in the middle that we will make sure is fully in this top tether before snugging it up and pulling it tight there we go fully in snug it up and pull it tight so this top tether goes around the headrest through a nylon strap behind the headrest and connects to the nylon strap here behind the center headrest makes that very easy and you can see tucker's got more than enough room here in the back seat as far as full-size pickup trucks go i give it an a minus simply for the 60-40 split bench. Other than that, super easy. 
So fully luxurious interior. I will say because this is the TRX, we get the color or floor mounted shifter here versus the dial like your dad's 1500, mm -hmm. which kind of takes away some of the cool functionality we would otherwise get here in the center console. But, but uh, I like this. Yeah, I, I like too. it. I don't lot. like the dials. I uh, don't. Like, yeah. I, it, that's not universal about yeah. the dials, but. Uh, just give me a good old fashioned. But yeah, um, um, which translates, I guess, into storage? No, I'm not oh, done. Okay. I'm not done. Because you know, I'm all about the details. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about how it feels luxurious or different on the inside, I love this thing. Yeah. I think it's cool. A little metal TRX thing with some tells stats. You, yeah, it tells you 6.2 liter it KME, 702 of, yeah, horsepower. It kind of reminds me of like a belt buckle. Yeah. Like a really cool your like cowboy fancy belt buckle kind of thing. You haven't but driven then, the Longhorn trim yet. <laughs> yeah. But then you have the, this little metal TRX mm -hmm. on your dashboard too, that which eliminates. I like. Um, you have the TRX right mm -hmm. here that I like. So it's just those little details that are like, yep. I like it. Um, let me ask you a question. Okay. Um, so this is a Ram truck. Mm -hmm. Is TRX the trim. type of car? It's the trim. Mm -hmm. 1500 is the model. 15, so this is a 1500, like my dad has, mm -hmm. but it's a TRX mm -hmm. trim. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, interesting. Yep. When Ram spun off from Dodge, like this blue Dodge Ram uh, next to us, um, the model name became the 1500, mm -hmm. whereas that's a Dodge Ram 1500. This is a Ram 1500 TRX. Mm -hmm. So. And along with interior, like the seats are comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, the back could be a little softer. Yeah, but you do but have lumbar. I have lumbar. I do have lumbar. Multiple. Yeah. Um, I got my lumbar going. Yeah. I got my. Does it? It's got heated seats too, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. And all that can be accessed through the UConnect screen up here. Twelve-inch UConnect screen. Very huge. Excellent. Wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Yeah, there was no like trying to zone in yeah. on a teeny tiny thing it, it's there i could be like bam <laughs> and we do get Fast some forward <laughs> some hard buttons on the outside here and you can program what's across the top up here so okay very intuitive to use and you can turn yeah. it off if you don't want a giant screen staring back at you something i don't remember having on on other head-up displays is it has the name of the road that you're on. I do like, I like that. that. I do like that. And then, okay, we had to talk storage because... Yes, because we got lots of storage. Huge. Secondary glove like, box. Like, the biggest in the segment, I would and have to say. And it's so soft. Yes. Do you put your valuables in there? It, anything you don't want rattling because it is felt-lined. Yeah. And then, you know, we've got a fairly good-sized glove box down here, also felt-lined, damped. Uh, we have two-tiered storage here that is huge love and it. this one is also felt lined with usb yeah. power love it and then down here we have alan grant the ram trx a t-rex and a velociraptor what? alan yeah. is down there alan's down there hat and all what? so um we'll show you when we get home buddy we also have a household style power outlet in here lots of places for change all kinds of storage there. All your measurements for yeah. when you decide to do trigonometry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know some people do that. Uh, she wireless yes, charger that actually works. And it holds your cell phone. Yep. I yep. mean, and the thing about these little, like, I don't know if you'd call them clips or whatever yeah, you I call would. them, um, right here is your phone can be any size. Yep. And it, it will still fit. So that's nice and versatile. Um, two USB-C ports up here, two USB-A ports up here. You can connect multiple phones simultaneously. So yeah, both our phones nice. are actively connected. So if you got a phone call, you could answer. If I got a phone call, you could answer. So that's really cool. That Tucker cool. has two USB-A and two USB-C back here. Hmm. I already mentioned there's a USB-A in the top to port it, right here. They can keep it. <laughs> uh, cup holders, side storage, storage in the door, storage down low in the door, mm. storage back there. I said Tucker's got that center fold down armrest back there. Tons of storage in here, plus the whole bed back behind you. Mm -hmm. And those seats flip up very easy. And like I said, when I was installing Tucker's shell seat, unfortunately, the 40% is on your side, the 60% is over here. So installing child seats like we do, 
on the passenger side, uh, we only have that 40% that'll flip up while his seat's in place, but small nitpicks, small yeah. nitpicks. What are your thoughts on the power and the sound? <laughs> It's loud. We knew when it drove up yeah. and it was delivered because we were eating dinner and we were like, oh, TRX is here. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. I like the sound, but when I was driving faster on the highway, it was a little much. I will say, <laughs> just just ever so slightly give a dab of the throttle so we can hear that supercharger. Is that it? That's it. That makes me smile every time. I call it the screaming banshee under the hood. So not only do you get the loud exhaust and the V8 rumble, but you get that <laughs> the V8, uh, the supercharger under the hood. And I will say the supercharger is 2.3 uh, liters. My engine in my daily driver is 1.4. Oh. So there's more air being crammed into this engine than air and fuel in mm. my car. But uh, yeah, yeah. It's fun, it's fast, it's loud, it's big. Yep, if, if you're wanting a fun, fast, loud, big truck, mm -hmm. this one is for you. Any other Do thoughts? they all come with the cover or is that? That's uh, an add-on. And, and add -on. there is also so there is a, cover. a step back there that you can pull down, but it's it's stout. It's I, hard I, to pull down? Yeah. Oh. Should we get B-roll of you trying to do it? Probably. Okay. So people can see how real people could <laughs> yes. pull it down. Yes. In flip-flops at the grocery store. Yes. Huh? Not in boots yeah. out at... <laughs> at Barnwell. Any other thoughts before uh, we go to the window sticker? Uh, I think those were my biggies. I'm All just right. So, filling her up. Talking, <laughs> talking about livability for this on the daily. We have put 234.8 miles on it, and we are averaging 10.3 whopping miles per gallon. That's no bueno. That is the price you pay. Window sticker says 10 city, 14 highway, 12 combined. That 10.4 is long distance driving. Uh, that is off-roading it at Barnwell. Uh, we've yeah. done all that on a single tank of fuel, but I dread having to fill this 36 yeah. gallon tank up. I wonder how much that would cost. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Hey, uh, but we could keep, we could have it because we just don't really drive that much. Right, right. We work from home. So, begs the question. I'm surprised I didn't get a bigger reaction out of you. I, I know what's coming. <laughs> That's because you don't know. I know what's coming. <laughs> you know the price. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I would love, I would love to keep it. Give, do not get me wrong. This is perhaps one of the fa my favorite cars that we've had for any length of time. It okay. puts such a big smile on my face. But I ask you, Holly, with all the luxurious touches, the leather wrap dash mm -hmm. is an add-on. The suede, mm -hmm. suede seats add-on. The ventilated seats add-on. What do you feel the MSRP of this 2022 model is? The 23s get a few updates, different trailer mirrors, and a fully digital gauge cluster. But oh, they got rid of the... Yeah, they got rid of the actual... Lay! Yeah. <laughs> got rid of what? The analog gauges for mommy. The analog gauges. Yeah. We'll but... see. It's probably cheaper. We can get a, yeah. oh, yeah. a 2022 cheaper. So, what are your, what are your thoughts? Look at that! Hippo! It's a hippo! <laughs> With painted lips and toenails. Oh, weird. Okay, sorry. Um, I am going to go 109. No! <laughs> no, no, no! Oh, so now you're like, let's pack it up and yeah. buy it! <laughs> this is our next daily. You're like, um, uh, unfortunately, for one, it doesn't it, fit in our garage. It would not be a daily. No. It gets 10 miles per gallon. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, starting price before all the options $78,790. Oh, that's really. As a so the MSRP of this truck, though. Oh, like this truck. Yeah, this exact one. Well, that's what I was oh, saying. I'm sorry. Is I got a little truck. excited. You did. You got way too excited. 98,780. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I'm a lot closer in that. Yes. So. Um, You're trying to be like, no, it's just 78,000. Oh, not 000. this one. This one. Not, but you love, you love this one? Okay, well, this is going to be 98. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, yeah. can we keep it? No. <laughs> <laughs> we 
what it is. I don't but. know. Are you got you got all that money lying around yeah. for a six figure truck? If you've got the money for a six figure truck, I doubt the ten point three MPG is gonna be much of a problem. Daddy, for sure. Right? Right. Daddy, if we keep it, you'll have to give away Nelly. I think I can make that sacrifice. <laughs> and on that note, if you want to see more from Holly, from Tucker, some behind the scenes, what it's like getting in and out of this pickup truck, uh, follow her on Facebook and Instagram at Female Consumer. You can find all things GT Garage Talk, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all at GT Garage Talk. Or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com where you'll find links to everything including a written article with more detail on this pickup truck that may not have made it in this or any of our other reviews so far. Give it just a little more. Just, just a little. Yeah. <laughs> and until next time, gearheads. Bye. Your camera yeah, fell, buddy. <laughs> Where's your camera? How y'all doing? Doing well. How are you? You changed it up. Tucker, are you gonna clap? 1394. We have a report of a reckless driver. Blue Dodge Ram on a dirt road headed northbound towards your location. Man, I'm